Hello and welcome to one of my new series which I'm going to start, Office 365 for end users. These videos will give an overview of features in 365 and how to use them. <music> In this video I'm going to show you how to view previous versions of a file. There are two different ways in which you can do that. The first way is to open that file up in the program. So for example I have this file here called population and that has population and details of population in various countries. But there's obviously an error. Someone has obviously written over these two values here because Russia has more than 20 people living there. So I need to get back the original file. To do that, go to File, View and Restore Previous Versions, and then I can view the different versions on here. So the one at the top is always the latest version, and they go back as time goes by. That is the version prior to the one I was looking at, which has the latest numbers, so that is fine. If I want to restore this file, it will overwrite the old version. However, you can still get it back should you need to. If I go to versions again, you can now see I've got lots of different versions. And it also says that I restored it to a previous version, meaning you can still get back the incorrect file should you need it or should someone else need it in the future. Office 365 will save many, many different versions of files. As they get older, it will start to store less versions of the older ones. So if you have a file that is five years old, you'll have lots and lots and lots of different versions for its latest changes. However, the five-year-old changes, it might just keep one from every month. The second way to access versions in a file is to go directly to SharePoint Online and open up the folder in which the document is placed. So here is my file here. I can click on these three dots here and click on version history. And then again you can view the different versions of files. You can choose whether to view the details of the restore point, restore the file straight away or delete the restore point. I'm going to click on it, which will open it up in Excel. Now because this is the very, very first version, it has nothing on it, because that is when I made the file from afresh. This is not going to allow me to restore it in Excel itself. This is just to view the particular restore point. If I want to restore it, I would have to go to Restore, and that would restore it back to that point in time. Thank you for watching my first video in this series. I hope to be back with more tips and tricks for Office 365 end users soon. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon below so that you will receive updates on when I upload a video.